We have an announcement. What? That y'all are gonna want to hear. I swear. What? I know. It's an exciting announcement. It is so good to see you. Hey y'all and welcome to the Max Light. I want to give you a quick update of where we are in the room. We finally have the top looking like a real top now. All the windows are in, the doors are all up and stained. We are almost done with this room. The floor is up, everything is cleaned up again. The last project in here before we can fully move in is getting our built-in done. We're hoping this week that that is going to be knocked out. But I also wanted to show y'all something where we're at. You guys saw Aiden and Colby taken down. Y'all see what I did here? I unchained the top and I have alarms on the windows. And I'm gonna show y'all what we did here. Yes, alarms on the windows. You can actually pick these up for pretty cheap. Those come from our, like our local co-op. And I have been sweating today. I'm gonna give y'all a full rundown of what we did today in just a minute. But y'all still see that we're lacking a gate around our pool. We've had our pool for about 10 years and the fencing around it was um, stained and polyurethane and some of that cheaper, um, wood fencing had started rotting out so we're kind of going a little bit of a different route this time we got um treated lumber that is supposed to have a type of chemical on it to keep the salt water from rotting in the wood it's so quick and instead of staining and polyurethane in because that was such an upkeep colby is out there today on the the columns that are going to go up he is uh getting those painted now I'm hoping that we are going to knock this out real quick because this has been a real worry for me. Um, not having the gate up and all the kids can swim except for Libby. So we keep it chained and locked around back so she can't slip right out. But she obviously can use the other doors. So you see he's hard at work even right now. There has been a lot go on. Already happened this morning. But unfortunately, when we're we're running the cows and stuff, it's really, really hard to try to deal with all of them and the camera. But I'm going to give you all a couple of updates on where we are with the cows. So you guys know that we have a dairy herd and a beef herd. Our dairy herd is right down there, right past um, our front yard area. Now, our Holstein, she's a really heavy milker. She's actually not rebred back. So we're gonna deal with that and work on getting her bred back. And um, Josie, the one that we have had for a really long time, she's actually already six months. So within the next four weeks, it's gonna be time for her to dry up again. Y'all, she bred back really, really fast, which is a good sign. Now, Dolly, the one that y'all have heard stories of us with her she's the one that kicked colby um you know she i honestly think she's a bottle baby but she gets excited really really easy and if any of y'all are really familiar with cows they kick they move around a lot she does not mind being petted or rubbed down she's not shy or skittish she's not real smart either but um she is pretty well easy to work with we have already been stanchion training her some out um where colby milks every morning and she we were thinking that she was actually not going to be due until november but when our vet come today and recheck everything she actually is due in four weeks so we're going to be drying one up starting to milk one and gus will just continue to milk out she's the holstein so we thought maybe we may crisscross and have to milk three at one point in time but actually we'll be able to dry josie up right whenever dolly has her baby so it's actually going to work out really nice for us and we moved all of the beef herd down here to our catch pen today as well because our Hereford mamas have had two little bull calves and we went ahead and castrated them today because they will grow up with one purpose and that is to feed us. But for right now, they get to run around in the fields and eat as much grass as they want and just be as happy and carefree as they would like. So that's what we did this morning. We had a really, really big ordeal with the cows this morning. Um, when our vet got here, it was um, um, just a combination of moving our dairy girls in, letting them get checked and moving them back. 
moving we can't just move the dairy bulls that would never work the little bull calves so we have to move all of the herd over we ran them all into our catch pen over there we did some of the bigger ones out sent the babies through our chute and it worked out pretty nicely um and then we of course we took them back to where they were so that is where we are right now um we have had quite an eventful morning i've had a bunch of errands to do in town but we do have some pretty exciting news that we have not told y'all yet and that is we are going on a vacation actually not tomorrow but the next day so i'm already pulling out the suitcases right now we're gonna pack up we're gonna take the kids on a vacation so not tomorrow but the next day we pull out which means i'm going ahead i've got to start the process now you guys know that we take a lot of our food which is a good thing um but it requires a lot of prep and a lot of planning ahead getting the coolers taking our trailer you know all the fun stuff so we are actually taking a surprise vacation and you guys saw us a couple of months back we were able to pack up and go up to east tennessee we stayed a couple of days up there that was just kind of a quick getaway um just to kind of get away now this is actually like our two week vacation so we're really excited about it but you guys know it is something we have been planning for a little while but for it to finally get here it kind of seems like it got here real fast so i've been in the process of all day of course tying up loose ends outside is a huge ordeal you guys know that with lots of little kids calls for lots of laundry so the washing machine has pretty well been going all day um i have all oh let me back up and show you all this i have pretty well already been preparing some of the things this is this little container right here is full of scones so i have already baked those those will be easy breakfasts for us to eat on the way and on the way back i'm also going to be taking all of our own bacon sausage eggs milk so everything that we have breakfast wise will be ours off of our farm we really try to limit eating out even when we're gone if at all possible so i cannot wait to tell you guys where we're going actually we're going to a place that is has a lot to do the kids think we're doing one thing we're actually doing a lot of things but y'all don't tell them because they are going to be surprised too and we're going to hopefully get all of that on camera and show y'all their reaction because it is somewhere that we have never been obviously they've never been and it is going to be a lot of fun we're very excited about it but y'all hang tight that's coming up soon but for right now we are going to finish up our work mr mac has painted most of our columns and i have got to start getting the little kids stuff in suitcase because tomorrow afternoon we'll be here before we know it then we're going to be up and on the road by six o'clock the next morning and it will be here before we know it been talking about? our trip i don't know if i even like going on trips anymore because i feel like we have to overdo it before <laughs> we go and then we try to play catch up on the way back so that's yep. what we're doing right now yep so I've already given them the rundown on the cows this morning. Yeah. We, Good we did. Good and bad. Yes. Well, I gave them an update on the cows. Yeah. When we do all, which today was a little bit added extra. We usually don't have to do checks right before vacation. But it's just one of those things where we actually had him lined up to come a couple of days ago. But because of some conflicts and work schedule, we were not able to do that. So that has been done and we have haze moved everywhere water's moved everywhere so tomorrow it will just be you know one thing about when you're on a farm you're always going to sweat you're always going to be dirty and stinking and hey i don't stink you stink i don't know they, uh -uh. <laughs> so we um and you always have to move your animals so that's kind of where we're at where we'll be actually tomorrow is tying up our loose ends we we're in a catch 22 really the the cow stuff we're pretty well used to but the vet stuff was an added bonus today and because we're going to have renovations continuing while we're gone that is the reason why we really have got to get this knocked out today and tomorrow because they are going to be finishing up the addition inside and then they will come out and start setting our post and one of the main concerns i had 
with the benson that was going to be back around on our pool area was that the the tight benson that we're adding in between some of those um wooden boards is it would it, it would not paint y'all so i I can't really fully explain it to you right now other than the fact of trying to paint the fence once it was already put together would have been disastrous. So they're going to be setting those posts up for us. We're going to have all of the things already painted for them so that when it's put together, we're not trying to paint in between some of the metal fencing that is going to go in between the wood look. So we'll have a column and some wood and some metal fencing and some wood. So what I'm saying is for them to put that together and then us paint it would be entirely too hard to do. So that is another thing that's added to the list that just has to be done before we go. So we are very excited. It is one of those things though where Colby said, it's like you play catch up before you leave, you play catch up when you get back, but you guys already know all of these things. So that's where we're at. I can't wait to tell you where we're going and Re reveal the big secret will be fun so y'all hang tight for now we're going to get tidied up knock some things out here get our bags and stuff packed and then we are going to hit the road and we are taking you guys with us as always mom are you trying to steal my cookies yeah. <laughs> no they're not all cooking elias bell made them no my cookies oh you're trying to take all of them I'm gonna call you the cookie monster. No, you cookie monster. Just one cookie, okay? What your bit one? What that bit? Okay, get one cookie and cover them back up. Oh, well, you can help me. I can help you. All right, get your cookie. The absolute <clears throat> one thing that is going to drive me crazy that I'm not going to get to do before we leave is clean the house because there's no point in cleaning the house. We have some construction work workers that we, they're our friends. So when I say construction work workers, I don't mean just any random person. These are people that we know and trust and have been friends with for a really long time. And, um, <clears throat> they will have a key and access to our house along with our farm sitter and also a family member but the house will be totally not clean and the thought of coming back home to a dirty house gives me anxiety but it just is going to be it is what it is this time because i'm going to have people working in here and i just cannot see spending all of my days where I need to be packing and stuff like that, trying to add in extra mopping, extra vacuuming, extra dusting, and all of those things when really we're going to have people coming in and out. They're going to be in and out all day. They're going to be working and sawing and hammering and banging. And I'm like, I just don't know that I can clean up everything like it needs to be and then us leave to still come home to our dirty house. So I'm gonna have to leave it dirty this time because I know it's gonna be dirty when I come back and there's really no point in trying to clean and then trying to come back. Knowing I'm gonna walk in already to a dirty house, it does give me anxiety a little bit. That's just my personality. I like for my house to not be perfect. It's not gonna be perfect. Obviously we live on a farm with six kids. My house will never be perfect and I've had to kinda of learn to come to terms with that but i do like to come home to a clean house it just makes um <clears throat> knowing that when i come in all of the things that i already have to unload and unpack and just kind of from that straighten up putting up from from a trip or a vacation is already kind of enough in itself but you know this time is just going to be the time that's a little bit different I'm going to pick up and try to organize and straighten up like when little ones get random stuff out and leave it for me to pick up. I am going to try to kind of pick that some of that stuff up. I need to go get the little kids bags. I do have them fully packed. We did a couple outfits. We did a couple of um, night clothes. Of course, all of under stuff. We did do 
swim trunks. And it may or may not be what y'all are thinking, so you'll just have to hang tight and see. So they're pretty much done. I am taking extra clothes to leave in the car just for those just in case times. So these are actually just gonna be in the car up front. Everything else, their clothes and shoes are already laid out. We try to do slip on shoes when we're on the road so that kids can slip shoes on, getting in and out um, at gas stations and using bathrooms and stuff like that. And y'all don't even wanna hear me on public bathroom stuff. Oh, y'all, but, but. So the little kids are pretty well done. I'm just gonna move their suitcases over to the other side of the house. I am waiting on one of Jennings shirts that matches his sets to get done washing. And yes, like I told y'all, the washing machine never stops, but we are getting one step closer. I'm also gonna go ahead and get this double stroller. Y'all see that we have a couple of snack bags already bought and that's because you don't have a lot of clean options at convenience stores and gas stations there's not a whole lot of organic things to choose from and we do try to do most of those things organic if possible some of the added extra things that you sometimes don't think about which i'm locked out on that door is like making sure things like our extra pig bucket has been taken out and cleaned out because we don't throw any scraps away this is my kitchen compost i ran it yesterday so that it could, could, could get completely done but i need to take it out and go ahead and dump it into my bed and get this cleaned up obviously i don't want to leave a whole bunch of kitchen compost in my kitchen for a week when we're gone and my bed is just right here so i'm just gonna come and go ahead and dump it in my bed you guys saw us dig up our sweet potato beds and this is actually some spinach growing from last year that we left man talk about some pretty pretty compost goodness gracious y'all you can see just how beautiful that is and literally i'm just going to take that and mix it right in all oh, raspberry i guess you want me to pick it for you well they're not quite ready yet baby this one might be or not it's not really ready baby they're not ready yet okay Guys, we're about to break the news to the kids, so y'all hang tight right now. We have an announcement. What? That y'all are gonna wanna hear. I swear. What? Oh, no. So an exciting announcement.